Have you ever read a really good book? Yes, Sunless Skies. Have you ever played a really bad game? Yes, Sunless Skies. Sunless Skies is a game by Fail Better Games, responsible for the browser game Fallen London and its sequel, Sunless Sea. Sunless Skies is a sequel to the latter, set in the same universe, only now it's in space. In an alternate reality steampunk of Great Britain. Where do we start with this game? Uh, the writing would probably be the most prominent part, so let's start with the writing. The writing is good. Enough said. Sometimes it is hard to understand what the f is going on, because the verbosity of the words is so superfluously unnecessary to require a goddamn thesaurus to orient yourself. It makes Shakespeare look like prose for kids at times. Generally, the writing is good. Good ambience, good atmosphere, good characterization. Interesting plot lines. All good there. The game. Well, the game itself consists of flying around space, landing at ports, reading, reading, space reading, and more reading, trading, backtracking, reading, reading. The excellent quality of the writing stops this from becoming a larger problem. The, the, the most problematic part of the gameplay is the game itself. Uh, flying around is fine. Each sub-area has a unique environment with different color palettes to complement the changes. There's nice ambiance and a good soundtrack. And there's a whole lot of fuck all. Yes, the main gripe I have with this game is that space is dead. Occasionally there are enemies which pose as much of a threat as a blind paraplegic who frequently urinates himself. But as the economy enforces the player to trade and return to areas more and more frequently, it becomes highly repetitive and tedious to return to these areas. Let me let me paint a picture for you. In ye olde days, there was a game made by our Lord and Savior, Todd Howard, called Oblivion. It was an open world game which featured a vast, empty map populated by little towns and villages. Todd, being the benevolent god of gaming that he is, allowed the players to use the fast travel mechanic to get around, rather than forcing the player to run cross-country every time they needed milk from the local Walmart. Sunless Skies could and should follow Todd's example. Well, maybe not. But Sunless Skies would greatly benefit from fast travel. A lot. This might even make the game amazing. Please, I need fast travel. I can't take it. Not another trip to Lustrum. Not again. Not again! Fast travel would make a 60 hour game five hours. I wish I was joking. What you're seeing in the background is me attempting to complete a trade. One trade out of the thousands the player must do to be financially secure. Yep. One of a thousand. The game has a resource-based economy. To drive around, the player needs fuel and supplies. To buy fuel and supplies, the player needs money. To travel, the player needs money. To get money, you need to do jobs. Is this an attempt to replicate the monotony of real-life travel? If so, good job. Whilst traveling, I'm thinking about my taxes, expenses, cost efficiency, and my desire to eat my traveling companions. And that's fine. This game is about simulating life as a sky captain, and the captain has to think about this... This gunk. There's no problem with that. It's immersive for some. But the writing doesn't support the economy. The stories available in the ports always pose these interesting questions. But the answers are always... But do I get filthy rich? And if yes, you do it. And if no, then you leave it. And if a port isn't lucrative, it's best to just avoid it entirely. And that's a shame, because there are some really good stories buried inside. But if you want to find them, then you're going to have to go and do like hours of trading so that you can go to the port and fail a dice roll and then have to do the hours of trading again so you can go back there, which takes maybe like three hours to complete one of these goddamn quest lines. Sunless Skies, better known as Fetch Quests the Game, is as satisfying as flipping burgers to pay off a mortgage. And this isn't to say that the game is terrible, though I have ragged on it a lot and been very harsh. It just has some really monotonous systems that hold it back. Overall, it's a good game, but a flawed one. And if I were to fix it, it would be with a
click of a button. Fast travel, please.